Earlier this month, I actually went to Morocco with a few of my friends. Um, they were actually super sweet um, because they actually flew all the way from Toronto over to visit me and they took time off and everything and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and show you guys a few glimpses of the British summertime right before we head on out to Morocco. The day before my friends came over, um, it was actually a really nice day out. So then I went to this place called the uh, Muffin Man Tea Shop. So it was actually in Kensington and it's actually one of the um, oldest tea shops in the area, I think. Um, I want to say that it was established in 1962. Um, but as you can see the decor and even the prints on the wall, I think they were all collected throughout the years and I think there was even a portrait of the late Queen Elizabeth on the wall. So this is very quintessentially British, I'd like to say. <laughs> and um, I ordered a tea set with the English muffin and English breakfast tea that is a specially brewed by the tea shop and also a variety of cakes. Later that night, my friend and I actually headed out to Elephant and Castle and there's actually this um, little park amongst the residential area and it was getting late at night and we actually just hung out around the park and just um, caught out with each other. The next day I went to pick up my friends from Toronto and it was pouring rain, the weather was so bad and um, I felt kind of bad actually because I felt like my friends were looking forward to having a little park date and having a little painting session together, um, laying on the grass and enjoying the warmth but all of that was out of the picture and we actually just got cozy in my flat that day.
The first day we checked in and we actually got to stay at this amazing accommodation in the middle of the desert. Our patio literally opens up to the uh, desert where the passage actually leads to the Sahara Desert where we did our camel ride and the walls and everything was actually made with the local mud and clay so the soap tray in the shower and all the shelves were actually um, dug into the wall to make it out as a shelf so the whole place felt very organic um, it was amazing Um, and then the next day we went to this pottery workshop where we saw the craftsmanship of the mosaic products um, in the city of Fez. Um, the next day, we actually woke up super early, I want to say 4, 4 to 5 a.m. because we were trying to catch the sunrise on the hot air balloon. This was actually my first time and I have to say like the hot air balloon was actually so much bigger than I thought. Like the whole thing fit around 20 to 30 people. Um but despite the size, the whole thing looks very fragile and it looks like we're one pop away from death. Um, I was petrified. Okay, let me do a what's in my bag. So I have my wallet um, and I got this quote from like the fortune cookie that says, you should be able to undertake and complete anything. Love that. Pack of tissues, um, my phone, 
Hold on a second. <laughs> um, and then I have my hand sanitizer, which I still carry. Um, my Dior lipstick. Um, here you go. Yeah, my dear lipstick. And then also, and then I also have my um, Japanese lash glue. So just in case. Yeah, oh my goodness, actually fits everything. Ta da! Little baby.